Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the learning outcome in class 3 under the concept numbers. Let us quickly brush upon all the concepts that will appear in class 1 to 5. So here they are. They are numbers, mathematical operations on numbers, shapes and patterns, time, money, measurements and data handling. All these concepts appear starting right from class 1 and the depth and complexity of these topics increases as the child goes into higher classes. In this video, we are dealing with concept numbers and each of the concepts given over here are dealt with separately for all the classes from 1 to 5 and links for the same are provided in the description box below. Now, let us see how the concept numbers has evolved from class 1. In class 1, we saw how to read and write 1 to 100 numbers and number names in series. We also dealt with all aspects related to two digit numbers. We also learned what are ordinal numbers. In class 2, we dealt with all aspects related to three digit numbers and we also learned what are odd and even numbers. In class 3, now we will be dealing with four digit numbers, that is numbers above 1000. Next, in class 4, we will deal with 5 and 6 digit numbers and also learn to write Roman numerals from 1 to 39. And in class 5, we will deal with 7 and 8 digit numbers and Roman numerals from 1 to 100. Now, let us take a detailed look at the learning outcome in class 3 with respect to the concept numbers. Dear viewers, at the end of each learning outcome videos like this one, I have included a thought provoking question for you to answer in the comment section. Please travel with me to the end of the video to see the question and answer the same. So the first topic we will be seeing is the place value concept. Here we will be dealing with 1's place, 10's place, 100's place and 1000's place because here in class 3 we will be dealing with 4 digit numbers. In class 2, we saw till place value concepts 1's, 10's and 100 as there we were dealing with only 3 digit numbers. Here we will also be looking into the 1000's place value. The next topic that we will be dealing with is numbers beyond 1000. There are few activities that we will be covering here which I will be showing you. The next topic that we will be dealing with is comparing numbers with different and same number of digits which means comparing a 2 digit or a 3 digit number with a 4 digit number and also comparing 4 digit numbers among themselves. Then we will see more about odd and even numbers and also do some story sums or word problems. Now let us see the learnings that we will achieve under each of these topics. First to begin with under place value concepts we will be seeing how to count in thousands, which means counting from thousand, two thousand, three thousand up to ten thousand. The next learning will be building numbers beyond thousand with number names based on the place value concepts. The next learning will be related to four digit numbers on a backus. Then it is followed by learning with more activities related to phase value and place value concepts. The phase value concept was introduced in class 2. So now in class 3 we will be seeing more details about that. Then the learning will be related to writing a 4 digit number in expanded form and short form. Next let us see the topics under this learning outcome numbers beyond 1000. So here we will learn about the ordering of numbers. Next, we will learn to do the predecessor, successor and between number concepts. Predecessor and successor means before and after numbers. And then there is something new which we will learn in class 3. That is nothing but writing 1 less than a number, 10 less than a number, 100 less than a number and 1000 less than a number. Similarly, 1 more than, 10 more than, 100 more than and 1000 more than a number. 
Under the topic, comparing numbers with different and same number of digits, the following learnings are achieved. Identifying the greatest number, identifying the smallest number, comparing numbers using the symbols greater than, less than and equal to, arranging numbers in ascending and descending order, and also something new is learnt in class 3. What is that? It is forming greatest and smallest numbers. We will see details about each of these in separate videos. And the video links to each of these concepts given over here are given below in the description box. And dear viewers, for each of the topics, I have tried to include different types of questioning methodologies which will help the child to think and answer. So please check out those videos and let me know your feedback. If you have not subscribed so far to my channel, Please click the subscribe button given here, the one at the bottom of the screen. Do not forget to tap on the bell button to receive regular updates and notifications of the updates. Give a like and share the video to your friends for whomever it will be useful. Please leave your comments in the comment section. I would be happy to respond to all your comments. Before closing this session, let us take one concept based question. To write the greatest four digit number using the digits 7, 5, 2, 8, we must arrange the digits in ascending order or descending order. What do you think? Please leave your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching my channel. See you in the next session.